Training camp gets underway tomorrow. Some under the radar position battle. So I'm not going to let you say Greedy Williams and Grant New or, uh, Greg Newsom because we know that's going to be kind of one uh, one A as far as the battles go. What are some of the under the radar uh, battles that you think are going on out in Berea during training camp? The, the, the one I keep looking at is that Delpit Harrison. I, I think that's a real battle. I think that's just one to kind of circle and say, eh, you know, maybe Ronnie Harrison wins that job. Because remember, when they drafted Grant Delpit, Ronnie Harrison wasn't here. And so those two never really directly competed. And I just want to see how that shakes out. We mentioned offensive line depth. I, I guess that's one to watch is, is sort of who steps up as your swing tackle, your, your interior help on the offensive line. Those obviously aren't real exciting battles to watch. Uh, you know, how about defensive tackle? You got Malik Jackson, you've got Andrew Billings. I think Malik Jackson probably ends up starting there, but I think beyond that, nothing is guaranteed because you have Jordan Elliott. You've got Malik McDowell, who's kind of a wild card in all of this, super talented, but has never actually played a game in the NFL because of off-field issues and, and injury issues. So he's really intriguing. There's some guys on that interior of the line that I, I think there's going to be a real battle there for who ends up as those starting two to replace Sheldon Richardson and Larry Ogunjobi. What do you think about the, the, the third wide receiver? So you've got kind of Rashard Higgins, Hodge, who won it a year ago, Donovan Peoples-Jones, Anthony Schwartz. I mean, the, the third wide receiver, I'm, I'm just kind of looking at going, huh, if Anthony Schwartz finds a way to win that and, and, and has a, you know, the type of camp he's capable of, that could be very, very interesting for this offense. I think that battle is huge. I think a lot of people just kind of look at Richard Higgins and say, okay, he's the third receiver. And look, the production he had last year merits him getting real playing time. But I think there's going to be a, a fight for who gets most, the most playing time there. And it might be the matchup game. There might be some weeks where you want Anthony Schwartz's speed. And there might be some weeks where you want Richard Higgins just kind of knowing where he's supposed to be, where you want Hodges speed. I, there's a lot of different body types. Donovan Peoples-Jones is probably the biggest guy in that room, and that makes him intriguing. I think, yeah, that's definitely a battle that we're going to keep an eye on, that third and fourth receiver and who the Browns really start to trust in those positions because sometimes that's what it comes down to. Who does Baker trust and who does the coaching staff trust? 